Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to the Bulletproof Labs to see how we can biohack our minds for peak performance. Quick backstory, a couple weeks ago, a friend of ours, Ninja Nat, Natalie, shout out Ninja Nat, she brought us over to the Bulletproof Labs to show us a little bit about the equipment they have there and how it can be used for peak performance. So sleeping better, feeling better, performing better, recovering better. And so when I was there, I had a little light bulb go off in my head. And I thought to myself, this is really interesting stuff that can be used to actually perform better mentally. So of course, this channel is all about mindset, peak performance with the mind. So today I'm gonna to take you on a tour. I'm gonna to try a few of the different pieces of equipment out, show you guys, and uh, hopefully have a great experience. We are here in Santa Monica, California at the Bulletproof Laboratories, and today we're gonna to do some physical interventions that should help us optimize the way we think and the way we feel. So let's head on in. All right, Brandon, welcome up, to Bulletproof Brandon? Labs. How are you doing? Good, man. Great, good to be here. This is Brandon, another Brandon, two Brandons today. <laughs> so Brandon's gonna be my mindset trainer today, taking me through a bunch of these interventions here at the Bulletproof Labs. Man, can you, can you give us a rundown of what we're doing today? Absolutely. So, Bulletproof Labs, first of all, is the world's first human upgrade center. We focus on three things, right? Physical vitality, emotional control, but also, like Brandon mentioned, mindset, mental clarity, focus, and giving you benefits you can take away in the regular world and change your world just like that, right? By creating and, and keeping those benefits over time. 100%, man. So let's dive in. Let's do, let's do it. it. I'm excited. All right. So, let's head on. Yeah, wait, man. So, this thing right here, what is the tanning bed? <laughs> what, what are we doing here? Great question. So it looks exactly like a tanning bed. However, the difference is, key difference is, it's red and infrared light, okay? And red and infrared light, I'm gonna turn it on so you can actually check it out here in one second, is the same spectrum of red light that arrives from the sunset and the sunrise only. Now, if you'll notice, the sunrise and the sunset have a special effect on our circadian rhythm. They cause us to slowly get prepared and ready for the day, right? Give us that calm, zen, focused mindset, right? And they also have a lot of benefits for cellular health. Everything from energy and mitochondrial reproduction to sleep, mood, inflammation, and overall just um, focus on your goals, right? What are we doing here? So, this is called the oxygen trainer, okay? Exercise with oxygen therapy. Now what it does, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be riding on a bike. This is an oxygen reservoir, and we have control over going, exposing you to negative O2, about 10% oxygen, or half of what you have at sea level, and 80 to 90% pure O2, hyperbaric levels. Now what that does, when you're exposed to low oxygen, right, you as a rider are gonna have to be very clear and mentally calm and mentally focused as you're exposed to that. Because your brain's gonna be telling you, Brandon, I don't have quite enough oxygen here, I gotta breathe faster, I gotta get stressed, I gotta do all these things. And I'm gonna coach you through and teach you how to just be very nice and relaxed through it and just kind of let those things come by and pass through and let your body adapt to that situation. So just like in life, when these stressors come by, right, and you have to face them head on, how do you react to the situation? Do you get stressed out with them, or do you remain calm, focused, and clear, and go through them until that next reward center? You ready for that? Sprint, 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 sprint. 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Good, Brandon, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and... Oh, dude, awesome work. That was incredible. Thank you, bro. That was immensely challenging. Right? So, uh, we're going back in time, obviously, with this thing. Yeah. What, are, what are we doing here, man? Besides making you into Han Solo, right, yeah. bros, for a few years, no. Crowd therapy chamber, it's gonna expose you to negative 220 for three minutes. Okay. okay, it's gonna be a very intense experience, right? But it's gonna give you lots of fat burning, good sleep, good mood, right? Kind of a grounded, euphoric mood. But more importantly, when it gets to that point where your body and your mind are like, oh my gosh, Brandon, this is, this is too much. I gotta get out of here, I gotta escape. That's when the cue is for you to remain focused on your breathing, remain calm, know you're gonna make it through, and relax the tension even more. So again, when those stressors come at you from outside life, you'll know how to handle it and be prepared. Dude, I love this. You ready? Perfect mind for life. <laughs> Back. 
Ooh. Ooh. Crush that. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> well, we have one more thing left, right? We have one more thing left. This is, again, the virtual flow tank. And what I'm gonna be doing is putting a couple things on your ears and your eyes, and it's gonna be tuned to the state of um, theta frequency. And over time, your brain's gonna start to mirror that and mimic that. So you're gonna be in that theta state yourself, and you're gonna experience about 36 minutes of that, okay? Yeah, 36 minutes. 36 minutes, my man. Oh, you're, man. Gonna, you're gonna be diamond team. <laughs> So while you're in here, I just want you to think about anything you want to manifest in your life, right? Visualize, um, or things that you think may be holding you back, right? Emotionally or subconsciously, and um, do as best you can, okay? That was a very interesting and awesome experience at the Bulletproof Labs, and I want to give you guys a quick highlight of what I thought of each different intervention that I did. First of all, the infrared stuff was super cool. Uh, coming out of there, I felt focused, primed, in the moment, ready to do everything else that we did after that, so enjoyed that very much, felt refreshed. Moving on to, uh, I forgot what it was called, but the oxygen deprivation, cardio, that was really interesting because during points of that, I felt like I really couldn't breathe. I felt like I, didn't, I did not have enough oxygen. And so it was more of a mental challenge than anything else going through that because my physical body could handle it, but I, you know, there's multiple times where I wanted to rip off that mask because I was just overwhelmed in the moment, feeling like I couldn't breathe. So that was a cool mental challenge and awesome to get through that. I'm excited to go back and do my boxing and see if my cardiovascular endurance really did improve through that intervention. After that, the cryotherapy uh, definitely felt refreshed. My body felt really good. Uh, excited to see how I feel tonight, how my sleep is, how my recovery is tomorrow. Finishing up with the virtual flow tank was a really incredible experience. It does put you into theta brain waves, which lowers you down into a slower, brainwave, slower state of thinking. And so I was able to think about some things in my life that I wanted to focus on, get more clarity on them, and honestly just relieve stress and just feel better in general. So all four interventions, very awesome. If you want to learn more about this stuff, go check out Bulletproof Labs here in Santa Monica, California. And the guy who took me through all this stuff today was an awesome dude, his name's Brandon. Uh, his contact info is linked down in the description below. So you can email him to make an appointment or whatever, you can just pop in there and check it out for yourself. Finally guys, I just wanna share with you a little bit about the future of this channel. I, I like doing the day in the life stuff. I like showing you guys these different things, uh, but I think there's gonna be more content on this channel on like how to do things, right? So different meditations, how to be less stressed, how to perform in high pressure situations. That kind of stuff is very interesting to me. And I feel like it's more actionable for you. So tell me in the comments below what kind of videos you want me to make. I already have some in mind, but if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. And as always, like the video, go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, and let's keep on stacking them bricks.